Having something called a dual boot on your PC can help smooth out your experience with your computer and basically avoid issues with compatibility issues and gaming and basically give you overall better performance in your daily routine. So what a dual boot is, is basically you have a single Windows that is for gaming per se, and then you have a latest Windows 10 version or Windows 11 version that's completely untouched and completely stock where you can switch to it with a simple restart and choose it from your boot menu and you could choose that and pretty much do whatever you got to do in terms of work school or whatever you got to do that requires a stock os and this is really helpful for people that get an optimization or really helpful for people that are very heavy into optimization and don't really want to mess up their workflow tasks and other things so what you're going to do is you're going to basically head over to the link in the description and we're going to basically download a windows 10 or 11 installation iso file and you could do either one and the easiest way to do a dual boot is to have a usb stick if not we could also do it without a usb stick if possible but let's get started in how to set up a dual boot for your pc all right so once you've visited either links in the description depending on which windows you want you can either do windows 11 or windows 10 then you pretty much just gotta download the iso file and for windows 11 it's pretty simple you just scroll down download windows 11 installation disk image just choose for windows 11 download now select product language english confirm and just give it a second just click 64 bit download and it will start downloading and yeah if you want to do windows 10 just right click on anywhere basically click inspect click this little laptop phone icon type thing and then dimensions change this to iphone 14 pro max refresh the page and close out of this and now you could choose the iso so yeah just same thing as previously just windows 10 english confirm and then you're going to choose 64 bit download and then just pretty much let it down so once you have both downloaded, you can either use a USB stick if you have that. And I highly recommend if you do have a USB stick, just plug it in and extract the ISO files on the USB stick. It'll make your life a lot easier. And if you don't have a USB stick and you still want to set up a dual boot, it's also pretty simple. Let's basically prepare our disk for installing the dual boot. So basically all you want to do is go to disk management by typing create in your search bar and clicking on create and format hard disk partitions. And it will open up this. So as you can see, my C drive right here is the one I want to add a dual boot to. So I'm just going to right click on this, click shrink volume, then give it a second. And basically this is how much space we can shrink in order to create a new partition. So for me, I would probably want to make the second boot about 80 gigabytes and keep in mind that you are going to have to install it on this space. So whatever space you want for the second boot, you set it here. So this is 80 gigabytes right here, 80,108. But if you want 200, you just do 200,000, which is 200 gigabytes. But for me, I'm just going to do 80 and then if you're going to use a usb stick you don't have to worry about this but if you're going to use the method without the usb stick keep in mind that the windows installation files are around six to seven gigabytes so i'm going to add an extra seven gigabytes just to keep just to keep the windows installations completely fine and have 80 gigabytes left to spare because i will be deleting the temporary fake usb that i'm going to be making if i'm not using a usb stick so i'm going to press shrink and just give it a second while it shrinks and as you see 85 is made so i'm going to right click on this click new simple volume and pretty much in order to know in the windows setup menu which partition you want to install it to just press next name this click this and press next press next and finish and then whenever you boot into your usb stick if you're going to use a usb stick and go to the custom inside the windows setup instead of upgrade you're going to find this partition called click this and press next literally just do what it says just click it and then press next and there you go your dual boot is done and you can pretty much just use your windows as normal restart between either dual boots and you're pretty much good to go that's if you're using a usb stick now let's just say you are using a fake usb which is what i'm going to show in this video i'm going to right click on this new simple volume next Next, I'm going to make this seven gigabytes and then press next. I'm going to label this fake USB, press next, press finish. And as you can see, it will be called this. So fake USB. And this is basically where we're going to put our Windows installation files into if you don't have a USB stick. So basically, you're going to find your Windows files that you downloaded from the either links in the description that I showed earlier. So once you have found the windows 10 or windows 11 file you're basically just going to right click on this click extract files and then click this little dot 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 on winron or on simzip and then you're going to find your fake usb by clicking on this pc fake usb just press ok press ok and just wait for that now go to fake usb if all the files are in here then that's not how you want it you want to basically click fake usb and you want all the windows files to show up here so if it's like this for example if you're using simzip you just basically double click on this ally all of this 
drag up to fake USB or right click and press cut. Go to fake USB, right click, press paste. You can delete this folder now because it's empty. But you basically, you want it exactly like this because if you don't do it like this, it won't show up in your bios and you won't be able to boot into the fake USB. So just make sure whenever you double click on fake USB, these files show up just like so. And now literally all you have to do is just restart your PC and just spam F11 on your keyboard. And there will be an option called UEFI OS and then the name of your disk. And you just select that if you have that option. Now on some motherboards, this doesn't pop up and this usually is only a problem on pre-built motherboards like HP, Alienware, Lenovo, Acer. So if that's the case, there's a different way to do this, but I would honestly just do a, a USB stick just because those mo motherboards are a little bit weird and you need a USB stick for this. So if you are going to set up a dual boot on a pre-built, then go get a USB stick. However, if you have a normal looking BIOS, then you can just literally restart, spam F11 on your keyboard or spam F12, whichever key is for your boot menu, choose UEFI OS, go through the setup for the windows, and then you're going to click custom instead of upgrade. That's really important. Then you choose whatever space you created for the second boot. You just choose that space and then press next. So if you want to make it easier for you, just right click on this empty space right you have right here. You're going to name this, click this and press next. And then literally whenever I restart, spam F11 and then choose the UEFI OS, which is the fake USB. I'm going to go to custom and I'm going to select this partition specifically and then press next. I'm going to let the windows load and that's pretty much it. The dual boot is set up. It will set up the second windows just like a new PC and then you can do whatever you want on there and it won't mess up with your main boot, which is usually if you're watching this, you're making the main boot a gaming OS and the second one just a stock on optimized OS. That's pretty much it. Really, you literally don't have to do much else. You just again restart between them and let's just say you do want to delete the dual boot later. Now, this is really important. If you want to delete it later, go back to your main boot. So the main one you always want to use, go back to that boot into it. So you want to make sure whichever one has the most space is your C drive whenever you go to disk management. So you would just restart, for example, and then you would go to create and you want to make sure your C is whichever the highest one is. And that's the, the OS you want to keep. By the way, guys, if you do install the dual boot, you can delete the fake USB right after. And then once you deleted it, just right click on it and click extend. Let's just say you want to delete the dual boot and you don't want to want it anymore. Just right click on this. The It's going to be called this or whatever the Windows other Windows is. So just make sure your C drive is the one with the highest space, which is going to be the one on the left. It's always going to be the one on the left, never the one on the right, always the one to the left. You're going to right click on this, delete, and then just right click on the C drive, click extend, next, next, finish, just so you can get your space back into the main drive. And that's literally it. Your dual boot is now, it's gone. You don't need it anymore if you do that. And just repeat the process if you want to add it back again. So it's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory on how to do this and it should save a lot of you headaches but yeah that's pretty much it you literally don't have to do much else you could just pretty much use your computer normally if you want to restart and go choose the other os you can just do that real quickly and do that but anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys found this helpful leave a like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out